afternoon, Mr. Locking Handle. Good afternoon. We are here today for the first demonstration, if you will, of the uh, what I prefer to call as a death ray. Did, did, wait, did, did you say death ray? It is a death ray, as in not not unlike a scientific beam weapon, if you will. It's well, all right. it's. Uh, I didn't know those things were real. You said you invented a scientific beam weapon death ray. It utilizes a technology that was exploited from some of Tesla's patents, if you will, that I found compiled at the Star Trek convention last month in Houston. At the Star Trek convention? Yes, I built it off of those plans that I bought for 25 American dollars. So this is a toy? Well, it's not a toy. It's a toy in the sense that you could use it in a number of ways, but it's not a toy in the sense that you would want a small child playing with it. Well, this thing doesn't really work, though. It does actually function. Wait, this, now, de wait, this death ray really works? Yes, it does. And even though it has the appearance of something that a child might have constructed, it is yet a functional death ray that that has a, a, a particle beam type of quality to it, if you will. If you would like, I will demonstrate said device and show it to you. I'd prefer you not point it at me, but uh, as long as you try it on something else, I'm fine with that. When I, when I fire it, I will keep it pointed in a safe direction. Now, let me see. It has to warm up for a second. Sometimes when it's a cold day like today, it warms up for just a second. You, can, you hear that? That's it. Yeah. Up. Now, that doesn't sound too safe. Is it going to be all right? It, it, it will be just fine. And now I'm going to see if I can fire the beam weapon. <laughs> I don't believe that. You have now seen the destructive qualities and the destructive potential of the death ray that I have made from microwave parts and numerous parts from around the house. It, it, it can be lethal to someone that has a weak ticker, if you will, and has a, a device such as a pacemaker. Well, that's pretty amazing. Um, what would happen if this fell into the wrong hands? I prefer that it not fall into the wrong hands, such as those of the communists or some of those that would be enemies of the state, if you will. In that sense, I'm wanting to propose that Washington buy this device from me to use in a national security kind of, of fashion, if you will. What if they don't buy it? If they do not buy it, then I will destroy it in the best interest of the country so that the technology would not fall into the hands of the communists. Not today. Well, that's mighty responsible of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Walter Lockenhandle. So now it would appear as though we have demonstrated the effective and destructive nature of the death ray. It is a very effective and lethal weapon, if Excuse you me. will. Hey, hey, one of y'all's involved with shooting my truck. Sir, I... I, I, I don't want no excuses. Who, I, who did it? I, I may... I may... Sir, I... I will apologize for any damage done to your truck, but I'm afraid that I may be forced to resort to violent means to resolve this conflict. What you gonna do, nerdy boy? I may have to strike you down. <laughs> These are just a few of the perils of operating a death ray. 